And we go to Argentina now, where grain exporters have made 380 million U.S. dollars in the first week of April. That's 40 percent less than in the same week in 2014. So far this year, the exporters have accumulated foreign exchange earnings of 3.4 billion U.S. dollars, which is over 32 percent lower than last year, even though the harvest was 15 percent higher. Telesur's correspondent in Buenos Aires, Leopoldetti Caduti, explains why. Although Argentina's most recent grains harvest has been an absolute record breaker, sales are at the lowest level in eight years. There is speculation in the grain export sector because 90 percent of the soybean crop produced in Argentina is produced by small holders and has already been sold and delivered. What remained is the 10 percent that is still an important part of the total production and which is either in subject to speculation in the vegetable oil industry or in the hands of exporters. Large agricultural producers are hanging on to their stock, speculating with the possibility of an upturn in international soybean prices, which according to economist Ernesto Matos is unlikely to occur for at least a few years. If the big exporters don't bring their foreign currency, there will be far less wealth to distribute among the 42,000 producers, because the idea is that those who have the least capacity to produce should pay less, unlike those with more capacity. So if this is not settled, less money enters the coffers of the national treasury, and so it cannot be distributed to small producers. Argentina's popular movement continues to push for an agrarian reform, seeking greater land and food sovereignty. It's no longer just about traditional agrarian reform, based on the concept of land for those who work it. Now we need a more comprehensive, popular agrarian reform that also deals with the way we produce, how we give the land a social role, a popular social role that will involve the majority of the people, and which is also produced with respect for Mother Earth and ecology, a market that actually prioritizes the relationship between production and the needs of the people, and not these financial bubbles where often the grain ends up going to who knows where. Decades ago, the Argentine state directly exported its grains. Today, that is in the hands of transnational corporations, which means that although production is record-breaking high, that does not translate into record-breaking revenue for the nation. Leo Poletegoluti, Telesur, Buenos Aires.